Hi, it's me again, and you've probably been thinking, man, those bass loops in that new Heavy Bass Design Volume 3 sample pack out now on Splice are really cool. But Val, how can I use these without people thinking that I'm lazy for using samples? Well, fret not and try this. Start by grabbing a basic drum loop and maybe change it up a bit with a small fill at the end of bar 4. Maybe have a look at the one-shot vocals and grab a little shout to throw on the 2 and 4 in each bar. And lastly, let's look for one of those background synth loops again that just stays on a single minor scale with no chord changes. Now that you've created this little canvas, it's time to come up with a bass line of some sort. But hear me out. Try making a riff or a pattern in a MIDI clip first. Stay between the notes of C1 and C5 and don't load up any sound just yet. Try and write a MIDI pattern that makes use of some call and response mixed with some variation in the sections that are repeating. Once you've got that, you can look for a bass loop that's a little bit on the longer side and drop it into that MIDI track. Once you set the simpler to slice mode, something like this should happen. If you're unhappy with the choice of slices that are being triggered, just move the start position of the sample around in the simpler, and the MIDI will trigger different slices in the same pattern. Once you've found a position that you're happy with, you might want to go into the MIDI clip one more time and adjust a few of the notes until it is perfect. Add a sub, and since you've spent so much energy on coming up with this MIDI riff, you might as well try it out on a few more loops that you put into slice mode, maybe a synth or a vocal loop. Don't forget to check out the cool laser zaps in the one-shot effects section and strategically place a few of them to accentuate certain points in your riff. Using this technique, you should fairly quickly arrive at a pattern that you're happy with. 